Let's start this off right. Ski Studios in the house. Another day, another dollar. Early bird catches the worm. That's what they say out there. I don't know who they are, but I guess we're going to listen to them today. Hey, you know what I mean? Now, you know what I mean? Like, I, what I used to love to start my day off was, like, working out. Then you feel like you already got to win. I remember back in the day, man, before I used to go to school, I used to start my day off behind a shed. I go out. Cross, I had a neighbor that used to live right across the street, and uh, we'd go out there, we'd smoke cigarettes, we'd do some type of uh, mind-altering substance, and, you know, whether it would be weed, even LSD, friggin' drink, something, dude, and uh, obviously, man, that ain't putting me like, you know, I thought my day was fun as hell. Realized that I did I really realize I was wrecking my life. You know what I mean? And uh no matter like the positions I've been in my life though, like I always managed to make something out of nothing. You know what I mean? And uh I remember dude, I got a story, um when I used to be on work release at the farm in Lawrence, it's like a correctional facility, but it's like minimum. You know what I mean? Like if you wanted to walk off the thing, like you could literally walk away. There's people that leave all the time and get cigarettes. You used to be able to have cash back then. So as long as you could make in between the counts, which was like every hour, you could you could take off and come back. You know what I mean? And and come back with the cigarettes. You know what I mean? Cigarettes used to go for like a buck, a buck twenty five, buck fifty. You used to call them a Cadillac for a friggin' Newport one hundred. You know what I mean? Because everybody liked Newport one hundreds. I smoke Marlboros, so like, whatever. But people still like Marlboros too. You know what I mean? And uh, I used to go on work release. Now, um, I used to work in this cake factory, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, a lot of the people, they only spoke Spanish. But, um, you know, we, you know, it is it is like this in jail. Like, usually a white, there would be one white dude that had a hookup with one of the workers or a black dude that had a hookup for the workers and they, you know, or a gang member that did it and they would get it for all the other gang, because a bunch of us all worked there, you know what I mean? And, uh... Sometimes, you know, I, I dealt with everybody, so I was cool, but, you know, you had a, a designated person. Then we'd, we'd get on, it used to be like in some town that was like, you know, 45 minutes away from the jail or whatever. Maybe a half an hour, I, I can't remember. But we'd always hop on the highway and then we'd go back, right? So one day, you know what I mean, everybody gets money for the cigarettes, right? And, uh, like, I'm not joking out of the, like, 15 people that work there probably 13 brought back cigarettes, maybe even 14. Maybe sometimes all of us did, but, uh, you know, when people would be what, what you call tucking them, you know what I mean? You'd take the cigarettes, you'd rip the filters off the end, and you'd, like, squish them down, you know what I mean, really small. Like, you'd get them to, like, one pack, you'd get to, like, the size of a quarter, you know what I mean? And uh, you'd wrap it in, like, this plastic wrap, like you'd wrap, like, in your food and the... Uh, you know what I mean? You put it over the, the dish and then you put it in the in the refrigerator. Well, anyways, we're, we roll it in that and then you take like the thumb of a glove and you push it down into the thumb and you and you tie it up. You know what I mean? Like, And you get it as small as you can. The thing that's crazy is, bro, there was a dude there, and I'm not joking, used to tuck six packs. Six packs in his behind, bro. That's crazy. I'm like, man, you're like a friggin', this dude must be like a porn star when he ain't friggin' at the jail. You know what I mean? Like, you can't even joke around like that. People take offense to it. But dude, what the hell? Six packs, bro? You know what I mean? And this is when they were a buck, buck 25, buck 50 a cigarette, bro. So, $30 a pack if it's a uh, buck 50 and, and you're doing six packs, bro? <laughs> That's like violation. Violation out the frame, son. And, uh... You know, so we're on the ride back one day in the van, right? You know what I mean? It's like 3 in the morning. Like, usually we hop on the highway and we're friggin', you know what I mean? We go back. But all of a sudden, we never got on the highway, right? We're going through all these back roads. And this is back in like 06, 07, right? So uh, we're going through and uh, I'm like, I'm like, bro, where are we going? And then this other dude's like, yo, what if they're... Uh, what if they're taking us to the hospital to get us, like, monitored to see if there's anything inside of us? <laughs> and this one dude got so scared, bro. I'm like, yo, stop moving around like that, bro. They're going to think something's up. Because we're only in a little van, you know what I mean? Like, we're all squished tight in a van. 
And uh, the dude's like, yo, I, I think he's taking the pack out. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe they were just taking us on the scenic route. And then we get back to the uh, thing, you know, and they, they strip us or whatever. And one dude has an empty pack in his pocket. He's like, where's the cigarettes? <laughs> he's like, I smoked them. You know what I mean? I'm like, freaking guy's going to get everybody caught, dude. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, we would have got lugged back to the jail and put to the hole or something, man, if they catch you with it. But, uh, man, it's just, it's just another day back then, man. That's like how everybody did it. And, like, literally everybody did that. Nowadays, man, they got uh, scans in the jail. Like, in Middleton, Essex County, in Massachusetts, they got, like, a scanner. And, um, you know, I'll tell this, dude. One day I had it. I had the cigarettes on me. This is like recently, like 2020, and they had the scanner and uh, at Middleton Jail. I think they put it at the farm now. I'm not sure they were gonna, but uh, and I got scared and I went through the scanner. Didn't even show up. I'm I'm like, man, that's crazy, bro. The scanner don't even work. But maybe it only like um can tell on like solid objects. I, I don't know because if you're doing drugs, like drugs are gonna be. Not a solid, you know, I just don't think they're going to be, you know, depending on what you're getting, it's not going to be a solid piece of anything. I, I don't know if they can even tell what's on that scanner. You know what I mean? So I, I'm just saying it, I, it's not 100% works, you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I've heard that people got to know how to read it because there's other stuff in your body. And I don't know, when stuff's like all mashed together, it could look like a piece of crap, you know what I mean? And I know a few people that went through it and didn't get caught. But then I do know people that did get caught with something. And uh, not not from the farm, but, you know, people that are going into jail. Because, you know what I mean, a lot of people that go into jail, they, they're they going to bring something. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I'm, I bet you suboxone strips are probably the hottest to detect because they're very small. And I don't even know if that would show up. You know what I mean? But... It's just, it was a different time back then. Another thing I'll say, like, um, is back then, like, I obviously I don't talk like this anymore, but, you know, I hung around with a lot of different races, and uh, everybody used to say the N-word all the time. Was not racist. We weren't saying it racistly. I'm sure there was some people saying it racistly, but they weren't out in the street, because if they were doing that, they'd get, you know what I mean, you'd get beat down. You weren't chilling out like that, talking like that, bro. I'll tell you that right now. It probably like some preppy kids that think they're better than everybody, you know what I mean? That that talk that racist talk, you know what I mean? And not and and if there was somebody that like was to say anything about me, like even saying that word, it would be a white dude saying that you're trying to act like you're black. You know what I mean? And nowadays, you know, it's the opposite way. Obviously I don't say that anymore. You know what I mean? Like dude, my best friend that got me no matter what, bro. He's black, man, and, like, he, he bro, like, I, I thank God for him every day, man, because I'll tell you, without him, I probably wouldn't even be clean right now, you know what I mean, like, I'm clean, bro, like, this is, like, bro, like, th this, this, my life is, like, changing, you know what I mean, and I thank God for it every day, you know, and then, um, I found out, like, the other day, right, like, uh, I was talking to a friend, and, you know, I found out that somebody lied to me about something that, like, jeopardized somebody's life, and, uh, it really got to me, and, uh, like, my first instinct was, you know what, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna break this kid, you know what I mean, like, yo, you wanna fucking lie to me, like, you straight up wanna lie to me, you know what I mean, like, I'll, you know what I mean, like, what do you think, like, you, you can just talk shit, bro, and, but it's like, yo, I'm supposed to be changed, I actually wanted to talk to my boy, man, and, and, and put it to him, but it's like, I don't know, like, you know, would that cause a relapse, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because if I had to go back to jail, you know, I don't know. Like, in jail, I wasn't really using drugs. A couple times, I uh, did some boxings, but I don't know. Just as to everything I've been through, I don't think I would relapse. But why why waste my time and go back to jail and waste everything I've done? Everything I worked so hard for. You know what I mean? Like, I'm about to get my license back. You know, I thought it was going to be a little bit quicker, but, like, yo, it's, uh... I don't know, now they're saying a couple months till I can get into the registry, right? Yo, I was I was watching this dude's podcast, right? And they were talking about, you know, it, it's another dude from Boston. And uh, he, they, you know, they've all done crimes and stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, I say, you know, oh, it made me feel better because, you know, obviously I have multiple DUIs. And uh, I friggin', 
you know, I'm obviously when I get my license back this time, I deserve it because I'm working a serious program. I mess my uh, I mess my license up with another DUI circumstance, bro, and I'm done. I ain't ever driving again. You know what I mean? So like, uh, I'm taking this seriously. And plus, dude, I don't even think I'd try to get my license back if I was using. You know what I mean? Like, I can't just be pressured into anything like that. And I, you know, my last lawyer, Terrence Kennedy from Everett, Massachusetts. You suck. You know what I mean? If anybody out there, you know, I, I know I don't have that many people that watch this, but I'm telling you, if you're going for a DUI or anything, do not go with that guy. He is terrible. He screwed me. He dragged my case on for four years. The, the judges were yelling at me, and he, and he wasn't even in court because he kept not showing up. You know what I mean? That's why it took so long. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I would have had a full-blown license because it's already been over eight years, and that's how long I lost it for. But I was four years fighting, and it didn't count. You know what I mean? I probably talk about that too much. I thought about breaking him, dog. I, I feel like you robbed me. You know what I mean? Like, you straight up robbed me legally. You know what I mean? Like, I should come down there and break you. You know what I mean? But I won't do it. You know what I mean? I won't do it just because, you know what I mean? I don't know who watches this. Somebody could report my ass. But, uh... Because sometimes I, I do feel like that. Sometimes I feel like violence is the answer. And, uh, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Like, dude, they say violence ain't the answer, but then when you watch police, oh, they don't like what you're doing, they're going to violently take you. If another country does something that we don't want them to do, we violently hit them with, with missiles and friggin' guns and send troops over there. You know what I mean? But it's not all right for me. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? I gotta listen to God, and God God says it's not all right. But it, but I, I think it is all right. Like, if you're defending yourself or defending somebody you love. You know what I mean? He sent plenty of people in the battle to win. You know what I mean? David and Goliath. Look at that one. You know what I mean? Tell me there wasn't violence there. You know what I mean? Come on. Wake up, people. It's just another day on the block, son. I'm gonna hit you with a boop. You know, I think he had a, a, a thing where he, whip, like, you know, hit him with a rock like a friggin'... I don't know what the thing's called, like a, like a, a long thing, a long piece of cloth, and he friggin' whoop, hit him with the friggin' thing, you know what I mean? A little midget guy hit up a friggin' giant, you know what I mean? I'm just an ant to a giant, son, and the ant takes the giant down, you know what I mean? Like, if I get into a fight with a bear, pray for the bear, you know what I mean? You know what's crazy? I've been saying that for, like, so many years, like, when I was out in the streets, and, uh... Jay-Z came out with a song that said that. He's like, if I get into a fight with a bear, pray for the bear. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you took my line. I don't know, I don't know how he found out, but he must have, like, people, feelers out in the street. When you got, like, m millions and millions of dollars, you know what I mean? You could find some shit out, you know? I don't know, man. Like, yo, I'm just trying to at least put something out every week. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know? Hey, and listen, I'm going to dedicate this one to my, um, my buddy Jason, man. I was going to ask him to be a sponsor for me, man, and he passed away uh, a couple weeks ago. And it was, like, very hard on me, man, because I, uh, I love that kid, man. I helped him move everything. He was the one giving me rides to meetings. And now he's not here anymore, man. So I pray for his family and everything, man. So God bless you all. Hope you have a great day. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Peace.